Today we are on episode 308 of the Death Walkthrough, and we're talking to Stallion Quartermain. The question remains, the wizard. How do we find Lemuria behind this massive, magical, zappy gate? What is going on here? I'm feeling confused. Wizard, did you bring a stranger to our secret library of knowledge? Ah, excellent. A mysterious stern person, just what we need. We must open this bedeviling cage immediately. There is a whole world back there. Death! There is death beyond the door. Exactly. That is why it was sealed by our forebears with magics we dare not remember. Perhaps the Tree of Knowledge will make you two see reason. Beyond the door, Lemuria dies. Slowly but surely, its life forces and mana run down. The very power that created the world runs down. I know this power. The world synthesizer, yes. It's a machine that harvests worlds and combines the fragments into a new whole. Into... The first world. The Cabal's problem and the Old One's solution. The Spiral is the first world fragmented. He needed simply to reassemble it. Lemuria was the genesis of that plan. The world synthesizer producing its life force and mana. But the machine is old. When it dies, so will Lemuria. You're wiser than last I saw you. No longer the aberrant paradox. You now talk to the wizard, not just fight. You two will restore the stolen. What was that? You two. Wizard, is there somebody else here with us? Nothing Sybil warned us about is here. Hmm. You say it glimpsed the spiral when you pierced reality as the divine paradox. I was curious. Never had I seen anything but myself. A singular point without form or dimension. I pursued you. Tried to find you. So it made cavities along your path in caramel. Cavities which consumed and destroyed the old one. To reach you, to communicate with you. Thus I became you, the paradox I first saw. I imitated you and battled as you battle. I misunderstood. Now the nothing appears as the old one and wants you to find Lemuria? That is complicated. It gives me a headache. Are you sure we should help? Even if we wanted to, the key to the cage was buried deep in the archive. You would need an expert in our libraries to find it. Oh, what is it now? Am I to scrub the toilets? Clean Ignis's forge? Well, out with it! What menial task do you wish of me? You want to find something? In the archives? In my archives? Actual librarian work? Well, well, I... Tell me what you need. The key to the cage? Hmm... That is in the dead archive, the graveyard of false knowledge. You'll need a guide. Very well, I'll meet you there. Welcome to the dead archive, wizard. This is where we store the books of debunked knowledge, the proven wrongs, the never rights, etc. It's important to keep these things for historical purposes. Looking up silly tidbits people in the past believed is a good way to feel superior, but, oh no! The spiral is flat, people. Two-dimensional. Okay, this third dimension is a myth spread by... Ugh, I hate it when books come to life in the graveyard of false knowledge. I can tell by the shape of your skull you're nothing but hate. And you subsist exclusively on cupcakes and plankton. Come on, wizard. Let's punch their card catalogue. Right, welcome to the um, the misinformation area. Um, yeah, these guys are just books. They look really cool. I love them. This this music game, so good, honestly. My favorite in the game so far. Um, 4,540 health for the myth guy. Not the myth guy, the ice guy. And 3,900 for the balance guy. Um, both rank 18. Uh, it's a common 
feeling common theme across the world most things are rank 18 um i think there's a couple of rank 20 bosses but generally most of them are rank 18 um these guys don't cheat they're just mobs super duper easy peasy lemon squeezy um basically just scarecrow and gg except that shield slightly pesky but oh well i believe also the ice guy can probably stun you not 100 percent sure on that but i would assume so um so yeah we'll just we'll just pretend that he does we'll pretend that he does sounds like a good idea to pretend that and unfortunately we didn't kill but that is fine we will just follow up with a ship of fools in a couple of rounds we might have the blade as well in case they do cheeky wee tower shield again which probably would happen probably seems like something that would happen uh oh judgment just kidding it's not too bad i don't worry i do not i do not fear a judgment judge me all you want dudes i don't care i don't care books you're just books you mean nothing to me because i can't read ha ah, i really just got them absolutely tricked them they didn't see that one coming um right ship of fools lovely easy clap let's do this kablam hello buddies hello 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 crit lovely love to see it and kablam they're dead lovely 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 g g easy clap nice The books are banished, but we still can't progress. Our movement is restricted by... A wall of text! Just word after word after word after word after word after word after word. There is only one way past it. You must press the enter button. It's by the door. Should create the space we need to slip through. If it doesn't respond, hit it frantically and repeatedly. That always works. Okie dokie. Makes sense, obviously. Any wall of text, you just press enter. Excellent. Let's keep looking for that key to the sealed room. Easy peasy. All of your problems stem from your parents and random stories from Aquila. The spiral was always here. There never was a first world. Think about it. Have you ever met a titan or a grandmother raven? This is more than just a standard resurgence. Something animated these books, but what? Defeat them, and we'll find out. Okie dokie. Easy peasy. So, these guys, Myth and Astral Star Magic Man Star, Star Dude. Um, 3,900 for Star Dude and 3,670 for Myth Dude. Not too shabby. Um, Star probably will resist a whole bunch of random stuff. Don't know what it is, but yeah. Star always seems to resist, like, the most weirdest of things i swear like just the most oddest things that i just have no clue about just ever 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 i just don't know it seems to always change as well at least moon and sun i believe are generally pretty stable but star always seems to be really confusing to me maybe maybe i'm just dumb maybe it's just me maybe i'm the problem i say this too much i maybe i am though maybe maybe it is my fault maybe it is who knows um but yeah Easy clap. Nice work. We boost on that guy, so that's cool. Death boosts. Love to see it. Love to see it. Easy peasy. Another wall of text blocks our path. Easily dispelled by mashing the next button. You know, like you did before. Only over there. Right. Enter button. Spam enter. That wall was nothing but a bunch of gibberish anyway. Let's go. Gibberish. Gibberish. Ah, a book on animism. The instilling of a living spirit into inanimate objects. That's a perfectly valid school of magical thought. Why is it here? Probably misfiled by Loomis while I was busy acting like a receptionist to... Uh, defeat the animism book, wizard, and things will settle down. Who's Loomis? I've never heard of this man's in my life. Um, right, boss rank 20, life, we should boost, um, I'm gonna put in the faint just in case, shouldn't need it, but in case we do, and then fire, mob, false book, uh, rank 18, so boss has 11,880 health, 
And the false book has 3,630. It looks like there's a shadow pip in play. That is fun. Not. That could be dangerous and deadly. Luckily, it's just life. <laughs> Luckily, it's just life. What is the worst they can do to me? That's right. Probably a Grenadier. Because then it pacifies them and I cannot target them without AoE. So that would not be great. That would probably be the worst thing that he could do to me. Otherwise, I don't really care. Because... Yeah, even if he did a Hungry Caterpillar, I cut through the Spirit Shield, so it's fine. That's probably the worst case scenario, but it doesn't matter because we've put the Faint on, so... We're fine. He can go into the enemy all he wants to. Oh, it's a new spell. This is the new life spell. Very cool. Very exciting. Let's see how much this does. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, and by a little bit, I mean a lot of bit. Um, but that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> um, right. Let's do this. Let's go for a... Do we scarecrow right off the bat? We do boost. We've got a faint. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to go crazy and do it. We're going to do it. You know what? We may not kill, but whatever. Whatever. Doesn't matter. We only live one time, so might as well. There's no time like now. That's what they all say, right? That I didn't kill. This is so sad. I knew I wouldn't either. Hey, at least the minions did, which is good. We can just spam a little. We can blade into a... Ooh, we put conserve. Nice. Uh, we'll blade into a ship of fools. Should be good. We do have a reshuffle, I think, just in case we need it, but I don't anticipate it. Don't anticipate needing it. Um, how much health? 3,000. Yeah. Bladed, bladed ship can do that, I believe. Especially with a boost, so that'd be good. Plus, also, I think this boost death damage as well from memory. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So, we, we, we good. We good. We out here. We out here. We out here. Easy claps. Easy claps all round. GG. Let's do this. Destroy him, please. Destroy the book. De destroy the book. Kablamo. Lovely. And he's dead. I didn't do it. No! He's not dead. He's alive. This is tragic. We need another one. He's gonna kill me with the Cyclops of Rock. Oh no. I don't know what this one's called. I get these ones confused all the time. I just have no no concept of what these guys are called. But he's pretty he's a pretty smexy cyclops, that's for sure. Um right, we will pass one round and then hit next with another ship of fools. Lovely. Lovely. Welcome to um Scarecrow and ship a full spam that's all this will be i hope you enjoy smash like and subscribe for more thank you um crit lovely and he's dead please be dead please, please don't please don't live he shouldn't live right yeah easy clap why did that do so much but the other one did not i swear that did more that time Ugh, i'll be dusting down here for days but let's get what we came for ah uh, yes here it is the key to the gate is an incantation. Ancient magical words lost to time. Abracadabra alakazam. Hmm. What a bunch of balderdash. But you can use it to open the cage to the sealed room once we get back upstairs. Come along. Hmm, not bad, wizard. You might make a decent librarian someday. Now take that utterly ludicrous magical passphrase to your horse friend by the cage and see what it does. Ah, the wizard, did you find the key? Oh, abracadabra alakazam. What's that supposed? Ah, ha ha! The cage opens and at last Lemuria will be revealed. Come to adventure! We did not instantly perish. I find that comforting. But this must be discussed with all of the scholars. Do not do anything hasty. Awfully small for a whole world, isn't it? Ha ha! What are the lemurs? You know, little furry fellows worked with the old one. This room is not Lemuria. This orb is. The old one stole pieces and peoples of the spiral, reduced them and encapsulated them here. 
This whole room is an anti-magic cage designed to conceal this shrunken world, isolating it from the spiral. Egad! How do they survive? Through the failing world synthesizer. But if we release Lemuria, the spiral will provide its mana and life force. That is how we save it. Hmm. Aha! That console there will reverse the miniaturization and instantiate Lemuria. Will you do the honors, the wizard? Wait. We must discuss this. Xander has told me of your conversation with Sybil, and I am concerned. There is much here we do not know. Like this world synthesizer. What is it? What does it do? From what I gather, the Old One used it to rend spiral worlds and harvest their pieces to build a new one. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, even I don't want to tinker with that. What'll happen if the world-rending machine is given access to rendable worlds? But the machine is dying. If we do nothing, Lemuria will perish with it. Do we not have a responsibility to save it? But at what cost? We have no right to take this risk on behalf of the Spiral. The Lemurians have already been lost for generations. That's dark. Even for you, Kizma, that's gloomy. Life is life, and it must be preserved. Right, Xander? Not necessarily. These Lemurians were not created by natural means, and they are sought by a creature who is itself unloved. Yes? Worse, my people studied this nothing. It's anti-reality, the, the, the negative to our positive charge. I, I don't know how it's not canceling out everything. I'm not here, really. I'm where I've always been. This form is a projection, a probe. But he's right. Even this slight exertion is caustic. Oh, this, this nothing talk has given me a headache. We've got real, breathing lives in our hands here. They're our only consideration. Enough. I, too, am experiencing migraines. If we release Lemoria, the world synthesizer may cause calamity in the spiral. If we do not, calamity will surely strike Lemoria. There is only one course. Wizard, as you were. Aha! I've learned these machines completely now. And they even printed a spiral key to access Lemuria through the world door. Before you go, come to my office, wizard. We must discuss your objectives. Clearly, you must visit Lemuria to ensure its inhabitants are safe and to induct them into the spiral. This goes well beyond a liaison's duties. Congratulations, senior liaison. First contact with a new civilization is no small task, but I am confident in your qualifications. You have another objective as well, this world synthesizer. A machine capable of harvesting land on such a scale is too dangerous to leave unattended. And I understand Lemuria no longer needs it. So find this world synthesizer and bring it back here that we may determine how to destroy it. And one more thing, this ghost that follows you, whatever it is or isn't, whatever it wants, it causes discomfort. Be wary of it. Ha <laughs> ha! I wouldn't think of leaving without you, my stalwart companion. What do you say, the wizard? To adventure! To Lemuria!